only have five minutes, so I'm going to be quick. Um, and I'll talk to you about how we use DuckDB at DataCamp. So I'm Rick, I'm a software engineer, so I'm mainly going to bring the perspective of how we embed it into our applications. Uh, if you don't know DataCamp, we are mostly known as a platform for data skill building, mostly known for our R and Python courses, but we also teach people other things like Scala, Spark, Shell, and even Git for version control. Okay, so we are mostly known for the first part, teaching people data skills, but we also have a secret separate, uh, second part where we create data tooling um, called Workspace, our notebook project. I'm mainly going to talk about that one. And I'm also going to quickly talk about how we teach people SQL. So first, the notebook product. We all know notebooks, we all love them, the least controversial way of interacting with data. So we built our own one, a little bit more modern version of that. We have a feature called a SQL cell, where you can write SQL next to your Python, and you can freely mix SQL and Python, like, for example, this one, queries from Redshift, and it gets your result back into a Pandas data frame. We also have a special type of source, so this, the bottom one, data frames and CSVs, uh, where you can do something special, like in the first Python cell, I'm creating a data frame called DF, and in the second one, I'm querying from that as if it's a table. Sounds like a feature that's hard to implement, but actually it's not, because this is just DuckDB. So, this is basically this code, import DuckDB and set a variable name and execute the query. So, very easy to build, save me a lot of time. Uh, we're not the only notebook tool that embeds DuckDB in this way, so I'm calling out hex and deep note, but basically every notebook tool uh, does exactly this. Then a bit more interesting feature to talk about, uh, Google Sheets SQL. So sheets often contain multiple logical tables. So for example, in this sheet, you don't want the whole thing that would contain all of null values and would make no sense. So in this case, I have two tables, one with countries and one with facts about those countries. Found this somewhere on Hugging Face, official, I think. So in this case, um, I want to let my users query these two things as if they're tables. So how this works would be hard to implement probably, but it's not, again, thanks to DuckDB. So first we parse the SQL, then we get, we know everything after the exclamation mark are ranges, we download those from Google Sheets, and we just pass that onto our good friend DuckDB in arrow format, so not parquet. Um, and that just works. Now we can do a nice data analysis on Google Sheets. Okay, uh, this is my praise slide, so no uh, bug reports. Uh, it's very easy to work with DuckDB. Almost have no uh, reason not to embed it into your application. It's very feature complete uh, with uh, native Parquet, CSV, Arrow uh, support. Saved me a lot of time. And super portable, so we run DuckDB both in Python and on Node servers. Okay, uh, second part, how we teach people SQL. So we have a lot of SQL courses. They all look a bit like this. So you have an exercise with some instruction to the left and you can write SQL directly inside of the browser. And of course, we don't want to tell people install first uh, a database locally before you can get started. So back when we got started with this, we uh, had to execute the SQL on the server. And now there's a thing called WebAssembly. Um, not gonna talk too much about how that works, but basically these days next to JavaScript, you can also run uh, Python and uh, also database engines inside your browser. So we're evaluating, not doing it yet, we're evaluating uh, running code into the browser with Wasm, Wasm. And for that, for SQL, we're evaluating DuckDB Wasm. So I'm very excited about that. Our main blocker for that is going to be bundle size, probably. Um, DuckDB Wasm isn't small, um, but we love the feature completeness, the fact that it can read Parquet natively. Um, is super nice and it's super fast. So that's all I wanted to talk to you about. Thank you. If you have questions, uh, you can find me later. Thanks.